Today we're going to have some fun creating a trendy glitch effect that will apply to a photo and some accompanying text. The effect combines digital distortions such as screen tearing, RGB splitting and scan lines to simulate the visual errors associated with digital video footage. Much like how analog effects help to give your artwork a retro look, this glitch effect helps to achieve a modern or futuristic high-tech vibe. I'll be using this free image from Pexels in this tutorial, but the effects can be applied to any image. Begin by converting the image from colour to black and white. The easiest method is to simply desaturate via the image and adjustments menu. Make a duplicate of the layer by dragging it onto the new layer icon in the layers panel. Double click the new layer to edit its layer style settings. Click the icon for the red channel to deselect it. Hold the shift key and nudge the layer left or right using the keyboard cursor keys to offset this layer from the original. As the layer shifts, you'll see an anaglyph effect emerge where the channels are split. Select the marquee tool and draw a rectangle across a portion of the image. Switch back to the move tool, then nudge this selection left or right to offset it. Go to select and deselect to remove the selection and repeat the process elsewhere. You can speed things up by incorporating keyboard shortcuts. M activates the marquee tool, V for the move tool, then Command or the Control key on Windows and D for Deselect. Mix up the direction you offset these selections and create large and small selections that capture a small area or the full width of the image. Add a new layer then fill it with white using the Command and Backspace shortcut. Right click this layer and choose Convert to Smart Object before going to Filter and Filter Gallery. Under the Sketch category choose Half Tone. Change the pattern type to lines, then max out the contrast. Configure the size to create a scan lines pattern. Because we turned the layer into a smart object, if you didn't quite get the sizing right for the scan lines, you can double click the smart filter to edit its settings. Change this layer's blending mode to overlay to allow the image to show through. Reduce the fill value so the scan lines are less prominent. I went with 20%. To add some colour to the image, we could use a gradient map, but I have some free film dust textures available at Spoon Graphics that incorporate vibrant hues with tiny particles. Download the pack, then open up a texture of your choice. Select all with Command and A, copy with Command and C, close the image with Command and W, then paste the texture into the main document with Command and V. Use Command and T to transform and scale the texture to fill the canvas. Change the blending mode to overlay. I wanted the turquoisey colour of this texture to cover the top portion of the image, so I gave it a quick flip vertical command via the right click menu. Reduce the fill value of this layer to tone down the colour cast. I went with 50%. Add a levels adjustment layer, then bring in the shadows slider to darken the blacks. Move the output level slider to shift the black point to a dark grey. This series of adjustments gives the image a cool digital glitch effect. We can also apply similar adjustments to a text layer to complement the art style. Use the type tool to enter some text. I'm using a thick geometric sans named Proxima Nova Extra Bold. You can activate it for free from the Adobe Fonts Library via the link in the description. Placing this text above the image layers but below the scan lines and texture layers in the layer stack will ensure that those same effects are also applied to this text too. Before processing the text, the layer first needs to be rasterized into pixels via the right click menu. Duplicate the text layer, then uncheck the red channel, just like we did with the image layer. When the text is offset, only the blue portion of the RGB split is visible. Double click the original text layer and turn off both the blue and green channels. Select the top layer again, then use the marquee tool to distort it. Offsetting a large portion, then tearing thinner sections can generate good results. To enhance the effect, double click the layer and add an outer glow layer style. Configure the settings to white, normal, 100% opacity, then adjust the size to produce a subtle glow. Bring the opacity down to tone down the effect. Add the same glow effect to the other text layer too. The final result is a cool glitch effect with a high-tech futuristic vibe that would be a great fit for an electro or new wave album cover or movie poster art. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up to help recommend it to others. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more, and remember to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my other free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.